Hey yo, what is your relationship crew? Welcome back to another video, man. Happy New Year's. We're gonna start 2024 right with a banger. Bringing back a uh, NLH analysis video. I know you guys been rocking with them back in the day. If you guys been here for that long, if you haven't, then welcome to a new type of video on the series. I mean, a new type of video on the channel. <laughs> and um, all right, so with this analysis video, we're gonna be talking about who had the more impressive run to the finals: Iverson in 01 or LeBron in 2007. So, without any further ado. Just a minute. Alright, so today, obviously we're going to be talking about that. And let me get some of the quick things out the way. Some of the obvious things out the way. Obviously, Iverson got a win in the finals in game one of the finals against the uh, infamous 0-1 Lakers with Kobe and Shaq, right? And then you got LeBron, obviously got swept in the finals in 7 against the Spurs to get those two out the way. So on paper, oh, you can already say like, oh yeah, Iverson's more impressive. He got a win, right? But, let me dig into deep into it. Let me dig deeper into it. I'm not trying to say who's better. I just want to say who had the harder run. Obviously, who did better was Iverson because he got the win. Now, let's look at the teams that they had to face first off, right? I got it in front of me because, you know, you got to have it. got to have a script right in front of you. got to have it ready. My life's a movie, so I got to have a script. Let's look at what LeBron had to face in 07. He had to go up against the San Antonio Spurs. Jesus fuck. I know the Spurs are nothing compared to those 0-1 Lakers, but damn. They really had Timmy D, Tony Parker, and Maginobi. Their big three going crazy in that series. In the finals, they were all going off for like 17 plus. I think this was the one where Tony had won finals MVP. I think this was the one where he had won the bitch. He had won finals MVP in this series. Tony Parker went off for 24 points a game. What the fuck? 24 points a game is insane, foe. And then let's, let's look at what, obviously, the Lakers, right? Let's look at Kobe and Shaq. These two boys was going off. Shaq went off for 33 points with damn near 16 boards a game. And Kobe was going off for like 24 and 8. 24 and 8 rebounds with 6 assists. Damn! Damn! Them boys was cooking up. Them boys were cooking up. Now, okay. Now, let's look at Iverson and his supporting cast and Bront and his supporting cast. Iverson was going off for about 35 points per game. Obviously, putting the team on his back. Like, I, like bro, I I put this on a daily basis. I be saying this to, like, when I talk to girls, when I talk to females, I be like, listen, I'm not trying to put the team on my back. I'm, trying, I'm not trying to carry this conversation like I'm Iverson in 01. Because look at what this look at what this nigga did. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Whoops, my bad, my bad. Please don't cancel me. Thank you, thank you. This man put up 35 a game with six rebounds. Keep in mind, only four assists with about a couple steals, right? Their second leading scorer was the Kemi Mutembo. He's an old-ass green boy. I mean, he's an old-ass unk at this point. 17 and 12. I mean, come on, bro. I don't know. I don't really think that's enough. And then Eric Snow with 12 points per game. Then after that, everybody's dropping below 8. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, man. That supporting cast was dog shit, yo. Damn. And then we go over to what LeBron has to go through. Okay. I'm not trying to offend nobody. I'm not trying to make any statement. But what I'm going to say is LeBron had only been in the league for four years at this point. And he made it to the finals at 22 years old. So keep in mind. Okay, I get it. Bad percentages. I understand that. I get that. 22, 22 points per game on about 35% from the field and 20% from the three-point line. Tragic. No paddock. Seven assists, seven rebounds, and about a steal. I get it. But then, their second leading score was Drew Gooden with about 12 points per game. 13 points per game. Then you got Daniel Gibson with about 10 points per game. Horrendous. Horrible. Terrible. Like, you compare the supporting cast. Iverson had a somewhat better supporting cast. At least in this finals run. Because you would think that, like, Zojunas Elgowskis would have put in more effort. But nah, he wasn't. He was not putting in no work. 
Like, God damn. You look at a supporting cast, Iverson had a better supporting cast. And you look at the performance, when you look at it like that, Iverson had the better performance. But, I don't know. I think as a more of a complete team, like, we're talking about, like, more people, the Spurs was a harder team for Braun to face than those 0-1 Lakers. I'm not going to lie. When you look at, like, a complete, a complete team standpoint, a complete team standpoint, like, they had more people, they had a deeper bench. The Lakers, all they really had was Kobe and Shaq, and they had some, like, decent support characters with, like, Derek Fisher, Rick, Rick Fox, and all them boys, right? They were okay. And then this is the one where uh, Tyron Lowe infamously got, infamously got crossed up. The infamous series. I'm like, damn, bro. LeBron. <laughs> okay, now here's my defense of what I'm going to say as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in perspective of both the series that they had to go through, right? Let's go into Iverson first. So, obviously, Iverson, game one, got the win, blah, 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 blah. Then he lost four straight. Game two, he lost by about nine points. Game three, he made it close by five points. And then game four and five, lost by double digits. Then you look at LeBron. First game, nine points lost. Second game, lost by double digits. But then three and four, he only lost by under four points. Game three, he lost by three. And game four, he lost by one. So what that basically is saying is like the series could have went either way on that hoe. The series really could have went either way on that. That series could have went either way. I mean, both of the series could have went either way. But all I'm going to say is LeBron made it close those last two games. He made it close. He could have made that effort. What makes LeBron impressive? Okay, so both runs were impressive in their own rights, right? So, obviously, LeBron straight out of high school, 03, 07, four years later. He's 22 years old, making it to the finals. What, what, was, what was you doing when you was 22 years old? I was I, When I was 22, I was just getting out of college. And he was over here making it to the finals. Like, what the fuck? And then you got Iris and, you know, got drafted in that 1996 class and ends up making it four or five years later. And then he gets the win over Kobe and the Lakers in game one. Okay. Like, both of these feats are impressive. But the question is, what do you find more impressive? Making it to the finals, your first finals at 22 years old, or getting to your first finals and getting a win over Kobe and the Lakers? That's up for y'all to decide in the comments down below. And well, the way I'm going to conclude this video is I'm going to state. I don't know. LeBron supporting cast. I know I already say this again. I don't repeat the same information. But LeBron really had a shit supporting cast. His supporting cast was worse in comparison to Iverson. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. What was their records? Like, what was the record of, of these people? I Okay. I, I, I don't know why I'm doing this live on camera. I probably should be, like, a better person and look up, like, this stuff, like, better. Like, do this pre-planned and stuff. Uh, so, we're going to look up the Cavs 2002-2007 record. And then I'm going to do the same thing and look up the 76ers record. Like I said, uh, LNLH Media, LNLH Media, he should have been doing this beforehand, I get that, but I don't really know it's off the top of my head, I'm not a rapper. Shout out Off The Dome Cam, shout out to Under Flows. Uh, let's look up 76ers. So, Iverson, oh no, no, this, I gotta look up 2001 for Iverson. So, Iverson took his team to 56 wins, and LeBron took his team to 50. So, that in and of itself, obviously, it's showing though, yeah, Iverson did it better because he got them more wins in the regular season. And he won a uh, regular season MVP this year, I believe. Now, I'm trying to remember, did LeBron win a regular season MVP this year, or am I tripping right now? Let's go LeBron James. Let's go to the MVPs. I don't think he had one MVP this year. I think the star represents the MVP. Oh, no, that's represents the All-Stars. I'm trying. Nah, I don't think he had one MVP this year. I am not sure. Like I said, this is horrible NLH. I get that. I understand that. But, I mean, I don't know none of this off the top of my head. I'm not a LeBron sexual. I don't know how these LeBron fans, they know, like, every little thing about this kid. 
Like, they know that he hit this one fadeaway on, like, the 19th of October in, like, 2015 over, like, two dudes. It's weird. Oh, no, he didn't. He won, like, 09, then 2010, and 12, 13. Okay, yeah, yeah, so he didn't do it. But, yeah. This was a insane video. I didn't plan this at all. This was just, like, off the top, off the dome. I'm sorry I'm not my car Zemba in them, but... I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I was able to make some sense of this video. Let me know what you guys think. Who had the harder run going into the finals? If you made it through the end of the video, comment down below. Triple L, could we live in like Larry? Or Bat, B-A-T, with a little bat emoji because bitch is always trifling. And with all that being said, it's Anil H. Never lose hope even when all hope is lost. And I'm going to catch all y'all in the next video. Peace. Yeah.